going back to your question about how to get over this fear, uh, sorry, this doubt issue, you are dead right. You could wait until the first person reaches at one minute again with God. And then you could actually say, yeah, I'll go for that now. I know that it's real. You could wait till that time. And during that time, you won't know yourself very well because you're not letting yourself connect to your own emotion. And, you know, there are other things that will happen in your life because of your law of attraction that uh, don't get released. So your law of attraction will keep being the same as it currently is, in other words. And if you're happy with that, then go with that. Nobody will ever force you to change your mind, and even God won't. But my suggestion is that when the first person reaches at one with God again, and you notice that it happened, and you, th and you then realise that two years ago you had the opportunity to begin it, what are you going to feel then? Many of us will feel a degree of oh, blown opportunity, right? Won't we? If we did that. And my suggestion to you is allow your law of attraction to bring you these opportunities and then fully embrace them. These, these law, the, law of, the law of attraction is there bringing you opportunities that your soul needs for growth. Allow yourself to embrace these opportunities rather than walking away from them. No matter how crazy or outlandish they seem to be to you at the time, Allow yourself to allow the law of attraction to actually see where it's going to take you. Now, sure, in that process, there will be times when you'll have to say, Oh, yeah, well, my law of attraction took me down a place that now I'm not so happy about. <laughs> now, how could that happen? It could only happen if that emotion was in you, allowing that to happen anyway. And that law of attraction, if you allow it, will expose that emotion. Even if the experience was negative. Right. So let's say in a year's time, I tell all of you that, you know, you, I want $20,000 from you before you can come to one of these sessions. <laughs> and you say, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew he wasn't going to give it for free forever. Like, I knew that he was going to, you know, require something of me at the end. Now, if that does happen to you, and it's unlikely because I'm not going to say that, but if it does happen to you, your law of attraction attracted that. So let yourself deal with that emotion. What would be the emotion that might attract that? An emotion of I'm being ripped off all the time, or an emotion of mistrust, or an emotion of... Can you see? Allow yourself to deal with those emotions. If you can allow yourself to just focus on your emotions even at this point, you will already be ahead of the game. When I say ahead of the game, your law of attraction will change, you'll see it change. And in the process, what will happen is you'll start having more faith that it actually works. But if you don't allow yourself to deal with the emotion at all and wait until a time when somebody who's done it gets to a point where they can prove they've done it to you, Mind you, they would have proven they've done it to themselves many times over by that stage, but to you it might have taken to that point before they can prove to you they've done it. When you wait to that, then there's really a few years or maybe five or ten years, who knows how long it's going to take, but there'll be years of your life that could have been different, that could have been more positive, that could have been more fulfilling, that could have been more joyous and happy if you had chosen to do it earlier. And so my suggestion is, don't just put it off because you doubt. See doubt as just another emotion. Another emotion that you need to release because in the end this is about your relationship with God, not your relationship with me. Hey, Jay, could I say something? Yep, sure. Which just was, it's just relevant to this young fellow, yep. something he said before about uh, the little group here and if the rest of the world needs it, why isn't it happening? Many, many years ago, I learned that in the Aboriginal culture and the Indian culture, there were stories which paralleled with the Christian stories mm -hmm. in right. different ways, but they were paralleled. Yep. And it was virtually that Jesus came 
in whatever way it was with people. And it's possible that you are here, but someone is everywhere else. Well, you're in someone else everywhere as well. At well, you this can time. get highly intellectual about this. Well, that wasn't. It, no. I didn't mean to be intellectual. But, true. but it was just. I was just saying that the possibilities we've got are endless. Yeah. Yeah. And and you're right. You know, there are all these possibilities from an intellectual perspective. But my suggestion is always go back to the emotional perspective. And if, if you look at all the cultures that you mentioned, all of them have deep spiritual and emotional yeah. connections. Yeah. Uh, if, if you see all the cultures that have been labelled spiritual all through history, they all have deep emotional connections to the earth and to each other and so forth. And so it's a basic thing, even just dealing with the emotions, is a basic truth that's there all the way through the human race.